Welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. Up this week are three games, first of which is a game called Summer in Mara. Um, I suppose to quantify what the Mara is that they are talking about, it is the land, or specifically the sea that they're, on, that they're all on. No. Um, anyway, in spite of that, um, Summer and Mara bills itself as a farming simulator. Um, partially true. Farming is part of it, but so is regular crafting, um, animal raising. Like, it's a bit odd to call, uh, call it a straight farming simulator. Especially since, well, it's really simplified. I'll get into this a bit more later, but um, yeah, uh, Summer of Mara is a adventure game with a whole bunch of systems built into it, um, which is on the casual side of things. Um, that is to say. Don't go into this game expecting, say, Harvest Moon or a Story of Seasons um, or Stardew Valley. I'm like, um, and that's because the there's no pressures here, or at least not in the same sense as you get in a Harvest Moon title. Um, you know, for example, you, like you don't have to pay attention to your crops failing or you don't have to budget your time around, you know, raising a certain ki a certain kind of crop during the season. Um, mm -hmm. You don't have a debt to, uh, to pay off with your farm, which, um, you know, these kinds of things, they're not here. It's much more relaxed. Like, that is, that is both a good and a bad thing depending on what you are looking for you know like if you're looking like if you want a game to relax with this is it like it's a super chill game um a lot of stuff to do you know it's like there's no real failure um states to worry about but on the other hand if you're looking for something you know with a bit more meat to it, so to speak. Um, yeah, this isn't the game. No, it, it's like... The, you know, there's nothing... You know, there's no... F um, super focused goals. Um, going, once again, going back to the things that you do in a Harvest Moon game versus what you would do here. Um... You know, you are doing. You know, you are doing farming. You are doing crafting, um, and you do the, uh, a lot of this. You do in conjunction to the main point of progression, and that is, this game is fucking fetch quest the game. Mm. Like, yeah, honestly, this is what really kind of dampered my excite um, excitement and enthusiasm because it just every mission it's you know can you go get some shit or you know rather can you go take these ingredients and go make some shit or something like that you know main quest side quest eh, you still have to go and get the thing um, and I mean there's a lot of it I've logged in about 10 hours of this game and I'm still in like the opening area expanded a bit but i need like the f first real ship upgrade and i haven't even gotten to things like um raising animals so yeah mm. it'll keep it'll keep you occupied and you know as far as the, uh, the story itself i'm not sure like this game claims it's a narrative driven experience i wouldn't agree with that it's more character driven and yes, there's a difference. Because, mm -hmm. you know, narrative-driven implies a story. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a story here, but, like, I think. Uh, I'm like, 
I'll, I'll be honest, it, it it's pretty threadbare. It's like um, you play as a precocious scamp named Koa, who's apparently supposed to be a teenager. I'm like, mm. a teenager all of 10, I guess. Like, you know, once again, that could be a don't treat me like a kid uh, kind of deal. Like, um, but anyway, like, uh, she wants to explore the uh, seas um, in memory of her late grand adoptive grandmother. That's your story. Uh, at least at the outset. Like, I'm not sure if it goes deeper into a narrative, but the time I played, it was much more, you know, dealing with characters. You know, dealing with a whole bunch of uh, people on the island, uh, you know, like this one, like this one guy who wants to become a great chef, who's interning at the local beach bar, you know, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Um, in terms of the passage of time. Um, there is a day-night cycle, and that will affect things. Um, not a whole lot. Uh, mainly, that'll affect, like, uh, what stores are open. Um, and not a lot outside of that. Like, uh, and you do have to put up with a stamina meter, but once again, it's a... It's like the lightest stamina meter I can imagine, uh, I can think of. Because, uh, like, okay, the food, you know, you do need to eat food to survive, but, you know, it doesn't really matter what food you eat. I mean, yeah, there are, you know, more complex recipes will give you more um, food, but it's like, uh, you know, your island starts out with a whole bunch of orange trees and blackberry trees. Um, and you can, you know, quickly mix those up into stronger concoctions. Never really had a problem with, with keeping that meter full, unlike a, unlike a Harvest Moon game. Like, I can tell you that the stamina meter, you know, gave me a bit of trouble in those games. Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, it, it's just, you know... The focus of the, this game is all about being, you know, relaxing and chilling. And that actually, that, you know, this is an objective thing, but that clashes with my idea of a farming simulator. You know, it's like, you know, kind of expecting, you know, some sort of goal related to the farm. Like, that's not really... That's not really here. Like, this is more an exploration game um, with the farming as a part of it. You know, a major part, sure. Like, it's integral to advancing, but so is crafting. Um, and so on and so forth. But I definitely say exploration is... The main drive is like the main drive driver, the main foci. Uh, let's see. Um, in terms of graphics, um, very bright, very colorful. Like you, if you played Wind Waker, you're gonna get a lot of Wind Waker flashbacks with this game. Um, no, um, though, once again, to you know, to go into the whole simplification thing, like you don't really have to worry about wind and sail. Everything is ore powered, at least with your initial ship. Like that may change uh, as you upgrade, um, but um, you know, with your starting vessel, you are ore powered, so you don't, you know, you don't have to worry about um, forces of nature, not just the wind, but you don't have to worry about currents. So, I was fine with this since you know. I remember Wind Waker's uh, fiddly, uh, fiddling about with the wind. Anything and that, that they, they gave you sails that make you not have to fucking worry about that in the high, in the HD remake. Right. That, that shows you how, like, you know, getting rid of tedious busy work is never a bad thing. And yeah, mm -hmm. 
you know, pulling out the fucking wind waker, you know, adjusting, just a whole big amount of waste of time. None of that here. Um, the music, kind of in and out. Like, it's not a constant playing of music. It'll kind of um, pull pieces in and out at certain times. Like, um, you know, not rela- like not relaxing music either. Very triumphant music. Like, you know, a lot of horns. Or a Koa herself will start humming the theme. You know. It's good music, just a bit unexpected. Um, mm-hmm. Anyway, let's see. So pricing. Uh, yeah, this game will clock in at $24.99. Um, I think for, you know, like the amount of game that's here and... Um, all of that, yeah, this game is definitely worth $25. Um, you know, whether or not you think, you know, it's, it really, it's really a more subjective thing because, you know, what the game sets out to do, it does it well enough. Um, it's just like, if you're, you know, if you're looking, once again, if you're looking for a deeper farm simulation or a deeper simulation in general, this isn't it. Like, um, you know, on it, like this is a, this would be a good game for kids. Um, like even like really young kids, because, you know, there's no pressure. There's no, um, worrying about juggling various things, you know, every, you know, like growing carrots is, or what have you is very simple. Like, you, you know, you go, you put, the carrot seeds into the ground. You make sure they get watered once, really. Like, you know, you don't even have to water the plants. Just watering the plants will make them grow faster. Yeah. You know, hmm. th- th- this is what uh, this is the crux of what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, okay. So like really basic uh, farming. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to like. Yeah. You don't even have to worry about worrying about you know the sun water um let alone worrying about the ph of the soil yeah so yeah you know i I cannot emphasize it very casual but you know the inverse is not true if you're looking for something deeper look elsewhere and yeah uh that's about all i have on summer and mara uh, any questions? Uh, is there any kind of time time limitation on how long the game is, or just play until you feel like stopping? Um, there are yeah. There's no worrying about days or months, or, or uh, like in terms of like weeks and such. The only concern about time is the day night cycle and um, the level of exhaustion Koa will. Th- experience like she will need to sleep at a certain point or she'll just pass out Mm -hmm. you know that's about it you know you can spend like literal week uh, in-game weeks on your island doing what have you and go right back to uh to the quests and you know nothing will change no penalties like i said don't go into this game expecting Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons. It's not that. Any other questions? I think I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right. So that'll about do it for Summer and Mara here. Be sure to tune in after the break as um, we'll be reviewing Gambre Super Strikers. <laughs> 